Hello and welcome. Uh, this week, the five news that you can't miss in technology. A groundbreaking Stanford report reveals AI impressive progress in advancement and the challenges it still faces. Meta proposes a game-changing approach called objective-driven AI. Texas is shaking up the classroom by introducing AI-powered essay grading. Creatives are feeling the heat as recent survey uncovers growing concerns about job losses. Wall Street giants like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are considering a major shift towards shrinking the number of new hires due to AI. So first up, a new report from the Stanford Human-Centered AI Institute highlights AI's impressive strides in image recognition and language understanding. However, it also reveals that AI still struggles with advanced math, planning, and complex reasoning, even when the size of the source data is doubled. So despite these challenges, generative AI funding is skyrocketing. So in my view, it's just more of a question of when and not if these issues will be resolved. Next, Meta's chief AI scientist, Jan Le Kuhn, shared some refreshing insight on the hype surrounding generative AI. He openly discussed its limitations and proposed a shift toward objective-driven AI. So unlike uh, current generative models, which often fall short in grasping the context and the understanding, Le Kuhn envisions AI system with rich world models that can simulate outcomes, make informed decisions, uh, similar to intuitive understanding and adaptability of biological intelligence like ours. Uh, so it's just a matter of time before this becomes a reality. Now let's talk about how AI is already affecting traditional middle-class jobs in Texas, the education agency is introducing an AI-powered essay grading system for certain standardized tests. So this auto-scoring engine aims to save millions of dollars in hiring costs while still having human graders review a quarter of the test for accuracy. So it will be interesting to see how teachers and their unions respond to this innovation as they are rolled out globally. Moving on to creative professions, a Society of Authors survey reveals growing concerns about job lossing and devaluation due to generative AI. Illustrators and translators are particularly affected, and they fear AI is mimicking their style and replacing human creators. So the survey highlights the needs for government regulation, copyright enforcement, transparency, and the fair compensation to protect creators in the face of advancing AI technologies. Let's move now to Wall Street. Wall Street is feeling the impact as well of AI. So major firms like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley are considering scaling back on new analyst hires, relying more on AI assistance. Uh, incoming analyst classes may shrink up by two thirds with reduced salaries. So while there may be quality of life benefits for those who land a job there, uh, it looks like there will be fewer role jobs overall. However, this may lead to more jobs focused on training, running, and improving AI technologies. So you have it, a quick rundown on AI's progress for this week. And as we can see, the impact of AI on our world is moving fast and really increasing. So how to position ourselves in this new world is the question that everyone is wondering. Uh, as workers, parents, business managers, we need to be ready for that. And uh, the book Irreplaceable, The Art of Sending Out in the Age of AI that I just wrote and, and that is already available in pre-sale, I wrote it for that, to give us a guideline, a roadmap of what should we do uh, to be more relevant and to be uh, and to succeed in this new age of AI. Uh, so giving us actionable uh, help uh, and really making an impact in, into our lives with AI in harmony with technology. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you next week. See you.